Now we're going to do gamma ray spectroscopy. So you're, you're going to have some radioactive sources and you're going to try and identify them. Or you're going to try and label the, um, the energies of the gamma rays to come out and, and examine what's known as the uranium series or the thorium series or stuff like that. You'll have a certain amount of choice in how you, how you proceed. Uh, there are certain of these experiments described in the manual that you'll follow. What do they look like? They'll get a radioactive source, like for example, cesium. Or cobalt. Here's cobalt 60. We'll stick it in here. We'll hit go. And we'll get a spectrum. Oh, this is a spectrum from, from cobalt 60. This is easy because it's labeled. And I can look up the energies in cobalt 60 and see, oh, indeed, is this cobalt 60. I can actually do better. I can go to um, edit. Well, I, 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 can, I can stop. I'll stop taking data. Now I'm going to go to isomatch. And I wonder if this is indeed cobalt 60. And now I can go to display. Display the isomatch. The edit wasn't um, necessary. That was me being foolish. Oh, look, there's two peaks from cobalt 60. We have this well calibrated. And now I know that this is cobalt 60. This is a fingerprint for cobalt 60. I know this is what it is. Okay, that's great. Let's wipe that out. I've got some, and actually let's not display any more um, isomatches. Look at this. I've got a box of naturally occurring uranium ore. Let's take this guy. And put them in here. And see what he looks like. Now this is interesting, what we're seeing here, and actually if we're seeing many, many peaks. This is a log scale, so it's growing fast and then kind of slowing down. If you don't like that, you can go to linear scale up here, way in, and we can use the arrows to zoom in down. We can also expand the Y scale by coming here and expanding that, or not. Oh yeah, that's expanded, and then we can... So we can kind of see that the peaks are growing. This isn't very active. This is naturally occurring ore. Let's go back to the log scale. So look at these peaks that are coming from a naturally occurring ore. There's many, many of them. What's happening is that the uranium is sending out an alpha particle, turning into something else. The daughter nucleus is also radioactive. It sends out a gamma ray and maybe some, some beta radiation. I don't know. That's, and so it deactivates into something else and something else, and you have a sequence. There could be two or three atomic nuclei involved in this in this um, uranium gamma spectrum. Okay, that's an example of spectroscopy.